This show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Damn it! Oh, it's all right, buddy. You, you had to do it, man. Oh, man, I'm so sorry you had to do this. One of these days, my time will come, and that time has come for JT. We had a proper burial for him, but he had never killed anybody, let alone somebody he cared about so much. It was really difficult for everyone. Eventually, we noticed that Carl had just ran off, I'm not sure where, but he returned to Alcyon, and I needed a bit of time alone, so I went off to search for Joseph again. The man was like a ghost, I couldn't find him, no matter where I looked. But I had to keep looking. Otherwise, why keep fighting to stay alive in such a fucking cruel world? And then my search was interrupted in a town called Cabanino. I saw a light down the road and while trying to get to it, I hear a gunshot. I'm not sure if it was intended for me, but the bullet passed mighty close. Why'd you guys shoot at me? No, no one's shooting. Well, you best be careful then. That means there's somebody shooting around and he doesn't really care where the bullets are going. Uh, you mind if we head like behind a wall or something? I kind of don't want to get hit by the next bullet, you know? Uh, yes. Hi, hi, person. Hello. Nice to meet you. Who are you? Hi, it's my... Uh, I'm Poppy. How are you? Oh, Poppy. I like that name. That's a that's a really nice name. It's quite original, really. Isn't it? They like mine. Yeah, who doesn't like your name, you know? <laughs> it's very poppy. <laughs> you like I think? Well, we're playing cops and robbers, but I guess it's kind of the same. I'd rather rest right now, though, because uh, my feet are quite tired and I'm really hungry. To be exact. What? The last name, if you will. Ah, yes. Uh, how rude of me. <laughs> ah, the name's Eddie. Any back, sir? Who might you be? I am uh, Anton Novacek. And this is my uh, daughter, uh, Poppy. I know. Ah. Well, she uh, she seems really fun. <laughs> what are you trying to say? That she's a fun person. She looks fun. How do you know that she's a fun person, man? Well, look at her. <laughs> I mean, I can't see her smile, but I definitely know she is, I'm sure. <laughs> What are you trying to say? Do you like little girls, man? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? No, 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 no. No, not, not, not whatsoever. He's just saying that I'm a happy person and he likes to be around happy people. There we go. She gets it. All right, Miss uh, uh, Eddie Beck, uh, come. Let's uh, walk into town. Ah, uh, excellent. Quite tired. It was obvious that these people did not have good intentions. But I was kind of nervous and I didn't want to give him a reason to kill me, so I went along with them. Eddie Beck, do you want uh, this truck? Oh, uh, I, I don't know, I'm not much of a good driver. <laughs> you know, I used to have people driving me around. I remember our bus driver, uh, Jordan, yeah. Uh, he's actually still alive out there. Yeah, I, I am not much of a driver, so I'll, I'll pass, but I really appreciate the offer. Thank you so much. That's a really generous offer. Actually, it wasn't much of an offer, you know. Uh, you're going to buy this truck. Uh, I have no use for it. Hmm. Well, I can't drive it. What do you want me to do with it? Well, you can tell it to other people, man. Yeah, so can you. <laughs> well, let's wait for the next sucker to get in here that has money, because I ain't got nothing to pay with. I'm not looking for money. Money is no longer a value. More of like uh, material, uh, materialistic items, I don't know. I don't know, maybe your vest. Uh, this business is what you call a uh, 
frowned upon business. You do not uh, do your uh, what is it? Uh, children work. Do not door to door salesmen. Okay. We are uh, what I like to call a uh, a family. That has its purpose, you know. Absolutely. As everybody. Uh, she okay? She's a little bit scared. Tell her to uh, tell a bush bookie man and uh, ah. get her a little bit, you know? I see, I see. It'll be okay. This man was obviously a dangerous man. It was best I just go along with whatever crap he had to say. Uh, come on, you're the stronger. Come on. Well, I'm the bush bookie. Come on. Uh, come on. You're not not harm you, you know? It was really odd to see a full-grown woman act this way, but there was something about her. Anyways, uh... Yeah. Like I say, business is, uh... What comes first to us, uh, family is priority. Eh, I get it. It's best to, uh... Make deals that are, uh, what is it, uh... Not nice, I don't know. For example... Oh, you're trying to get what you want, you know? Yeah. I don't know, survival of the fittest. Exactly. Yeah, I get it. No, you look like to be quite a lonely man, you know? Eh, yeah, lately. In, uh, maybe you are interested in female company. Does this interest no, you? No, that's okay, though. Uh, I don't need it. <laughs> what? Eh. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> Move back, uh, Baba Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Oh, hey, Eddie. Love. Oh, Siren. A and what was your name again? My name is Siren. Ah, such a lovely name. Isn't it a lovely name? Very original. Oh, you're a charmer, aren't you? It is really good to see you. How have you been? I've been really good, actually. That's I've good. Very well. <laughs> What? You have a problem with me talking to an old friend? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I, I barely recognized you there, with the mask, the glasses. Yeah, uh, but your voice is so... mesmerizing. I can never forget that. Is it? Oh, I missed you so much. Uh, yes, as, as did I. How have you been, darling? Hmm? Uh, well, the good news is... <laughs> I'm not with uh, those, uh, those, uh, those fucked up people, you know, that believe in that mega thing. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, the father is fucking dead. And if I see him, he's, uh, he's, uh, as good as dead. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm not with them anymore, so I'm doing good. <laughs> that is perfect, Sally. I mean, after the last time I saw you, you were keeping very bad company. <laughs> yeah. But all is well now. Some of them left, too. Came with me, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're good like me, so, you know, don't need to worry about them, either. Hmm. Good. I'm so very happy that you're safe. It's been, uh, kind of hard, you know, with, uh, my oh, condition Mr. and all. Uh, Eddie Beck. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, would you like to buy the, the company of a female? <laughs> you're buying, uh, Siren here, I know. What? Well, I'd give anything to spend a little time with Siren. <laughs> he pretty much took whatever I had to give to him, and off I went to spend time with her. All right, this building uh, is good, I know. Well, thank you. Thank you for uh, escorting us. This will you do have just 30 fine. Thirty minutes. If you do not come out by thirty minutes, we will go in there and receive you ourselves, and then we will uh, take this. Uh, Upon ourselves. I don't ah, you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> It'll be just fine. I respect Siren a lot more than you think. <laughs> ah, well, let us have a seat. A lady should sit. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't like sitting. Oh, well, your choice. <laughs> Whatever you want, Siren. <laughs> Whatever you want. So, I, I don't recognize the people that you're with. 
quite different uh, crowd from the last I've seen you with. Uh, I uh, kind of. Yeah, so we only have 30 minutes, right? So yeah. maybe I should give you a little kiss for uh, oh. being such a brave guy. And you know, I, I kind of don't want to treat you like a, you know, like an escort or anything like that. You know, I, I actually do like you. You know, <laughs> so I don't mind. You don't have to do anything. You know, we could just talk if you want. It, you know, I'm not. I'm not sure. If it's really what you want, then, then all right, you know. But I really, uh, I like you, Siren. I want you to know that, okay? <laughs> That's okay. I enjoy kissing. Believe it or not, but that was my first kiss, and I was really happy. But we got interrupted way too soon. Yeah, you honestly my thought God. I was gonna let you uh, sleep with her, buddy. Excuse me? <laughs> I wasn't thinking of sleeping with her, she wanted to kiss me. Is that so? Uh, I like you a lot, Siren, I really do, I really do. This is what I've quoted you from, I know. Okay. Put your hands yeah. on your fucking head, buddy, I know. Uh, yeah. What's going on? Isn't this what you uh, wanted, Siren? What's going on? This is not just any girl to me. I told any, you. Uh, but, is that right? Uh, when I get crazy, so does he. Alright, uh. Babomir. Handcuff him. That'd be a good thing. Hurry up. Please. You really fucking stupid Eddie. Let me out and all this goes away. Please, hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, I got it. It's fine, I like him, guys. Especially you, Eddie. Oh, are you getting angry, little girl? You getting angry? Who are you calling a girl, bitch? Stop it. It's not the time. Please, ignore him. One of these days, Eddie. So oh, what's, no, what's, go Eddie, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What the fucking hell? Tell me, you fucking big. Really She's the first fucking girl I ever kissed, and it was great, and it was worth everything I had. So, Siren, thank you. It was worth it. You're welcome. Stand up, buddy. Stand up for me. On your feet, I know. On your fucking. So I want to understand what is. Uh, what what is this all about? Like, what's the reasoning behind the, you cuffing me right now? No, no, I understand it's business and all that, but I want an explanation. That's all I'm asking here. Because you're probably going to end up fucking killing me tonight. And this is not Sid talking, this is actually Eddie. Shut the fuck up and let me talk, I know. Go ahead, I'm listening. Did you honestly think I was going to let you uh, sleep with somebody that I said I could do this to my daughter? Okay, did you see me? She has issues. Did you see me penetrate her? Because I, I, last, last I know, I didn't do that. You know, I, I kissed her. And actually, she kissed me. She kissed me. And as far as I'm concerned, I did nothing wrong. I talked with her for like, I don't know, a couple minutes. She wanted to kiss me, and we kissed. I forgot. Him. What is wrong? I, I'm trying to understand. He's very jealous. He doesn't like me kissing other men. We later moved to the barn just across the street. I was really, really pissed, and I didn't need Sid for that. I still don't really understand. I don't know. I, it's like, why why couldn't you just tell me from the get-go? It's like you did it on purpose, you know? You, you did it on purpose. It's, it's, it's like you baited me right into this, you know? It's like without even explaining any detail, and I didn't even want to sleep with her. I would, I would never do that and disrespect her on the first yeah, night. True. Oh, don't lie to me, man. You can't tell if I'm lying or not. Opportunity to fucking sleep with her. You would sleep with her without the fucking uh, hesitation in your head, man. There's <sighs> no on, reasoning. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'll see if you're telling the truth or not. Uh, kiss him again. Let's see if he uh, responds. <sighs> I'm sorry this happened, Eddie. I can't. Oh, come here. Fine. Siren, I, I can't do that. These men are gonna clearly fucking kill me. Please, 
don't. If you're doing that and you do care about me, then don't. Because you're just signing my death wish. You already signed it, my friend. You do not sleep with the business partner. And I didn't sleep with her. How can I... God damn it, it's no reasoning you with you. planning to, then. Ten no, I was not. How can you tell I was fucking planning this? You forced me into having this freaking thing happen, you understand? I forced you, I forced you into this. Alright, listen to me, pal. You're gonna fucking kill me anyways, right? That's what's gonna happen here, right? Now you're not talking to fucking Eddie here. Okay, this little kid that never kissed a girl, I never kissed a fucking girl. And I, quite frankly, it was fucking awesome. So just let me, let me tell you one little thing here. Since you're gonna fucking kill me anyway for no fucking reason, you know? So, um, fuck you! You sad fuck? Cause you know, I'm gonna die! Because I kissed a girl! Hey buddy! Oh... Hey buddy! Hey, buddy. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Go to sleep. Are you awake now? Oh... Yeah... Uh, what happened? You look a little uh, outburst there again, friend. Oh, you, uh, Jesus Christ. Sure that you were okay, I don't... It's okay. Oh, Thank you for stopping it. Fuck, I don't want him to get me killed. <laughs> so, uh, you have, uh, what is it, uh, what is this issue of yours? <sighs> is it like, uh, siren? I'm not sure. It, it, it's, it's schizophrenia, but it's getting worse. Uh, I take these oh. pills. You might have seen them on me. Uh, they're, they're in a vitamin bottle. Um... Oh, jeez, my, my face, it hurts. Uh, they're, they're, they're in a vitamin bottle, so nobody knows, you know? I don't want people to think I'm fucking crazy. And I'm not crazy, okay? I'm just different. Maybe I should take them, I Maybe I should take them and make you... Should I give him a, uh, should I give him a pill, or take your medicine? Thank, thank you, uh... Ugh... <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if he said anything wrong. I, I didn't, I didn't know. I couldn't control him this time. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean anything by it. Not at all. Don't be so mean to the kid. I don't know what it was. If it was siren or simple pity, but they decided to let me go. I'm going to uh, give you the chance because I feel that uh, I've been in this position myself before, and it is quite difficult to. Uh, you know, get a grasp on life, as they say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, I'm not going to uh, give you the opportunity to fucking sleep with Siren. I, I get that. I, it's not up to me whether she wants to sleep with you. Now, when people fucking come up to you and say, Hey, you want to sleep with the girl next to me? You fucking go, sorry, no. I do not want to disrespect you. Oh. The respect is given and earned, my friend. That is one of the reasons why I have... Uh, made myself known to you. I know. I understand. I'm a man of my word, but I'm going to be keeping the things that you have given me due to the fact that uh, you think that my friendship is simply bad. I'm, I'm sorry for that. I didn't want to disrespect you in any way, you know. That's the last thing a guy like me would want to do. You know, I just trying to survive. I left that town as soon as I had the chance. I don't think I'll ever trust Siren again. I was so sick of running into people that think that rule the fucking world. People that, that fucking completely lost it. So I just kept going. I didn't give a shit where I was gonna go, but I was going until all I can see was trees and more trees. I was pretty sure I was lost. Then, out in the middle of nowhere, this campfire, and a guy sitting alone. Obviously, I was going to check it out. But this time, I was going to take a more careful approach. Come out. He spotted me. Sit down, warm up. 
Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to uh, startle you. You kind of scared me. To fire out here. Didn't expect to run into anybody. Yeah. Gotta keep my distance and watch people. Uh, I presume. Have a seat, man. Uh, sure, thanks. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, I'm Eddie. <laughs> You're Joe. Yeah, where are you from? Like, are you all alone out here, or...? Never alone. No way. Can't be alone out here. Might be one more guy out in the woods. Might be five more guys out in the woods. Might just be me for now. There's always uh. others. Yeah, I guess I, I, I guess you're right. I mean, I, I I do have friends too, I suppose. There are no friends anymore. It's just allies. Allies are fragile. Fragile. That can always go south. Friends and family, they're all dead. I guess you're right. I, in a way, I mean, I I have people I consider almost family now. A lot of people, I've run into a lot of weak people out here, hanging on the bit, hanging on to the past. It's crazy. There's no one's acting like so civilization out there, and there's rules to all this. Uh, do you even know how long it's been since the outbreak? Keeping track? Do you even know what day it is anymore? It's every day you wake up, and every day you hope you wake up again. <sighs> I yeah. can whatever it takes so I can continue to wake up. Maybe you're right. I don't even know anymore. I am right. So you say your name is Joe? Is that short for anything? Joseph. Last name's Hodge. I finally found him.